You know, this issue of pronouns, the uh, lawyers for the suspect now say that the suspect identifies as non-binary. The judge did not use the they, them pronouns. And also the DA afterwards was asked repeatedly by reporters, you know, is this going to have any bearing on where we go from here? And the DA was adamant, no, makes no difference to the investigation, makes no difference to the prosecution. This is a suspect. The pronouns have no relevance. And in Colorado, the suspect accused of opening fire inside an LGBTQ nightclub now being held without bond. A neighbor is revealing more about Anderson Lee Aldrich's troubled past, saying the suspect expressed hateful attitudes towards the gay community. That's a mass shooting in Chesapeake, Virginia. Now to a mass shooting in Colorado Springs, the one targeting an LGBTQ nightclub. The Denver, Denver Post editorial board has penned an op-ed titled, quote, we're looking at you, Lauren Boebert, stop the intolerance. It accuses the Colorado Congresswoman of feeding a quote, narrative of hate and intolerance and not caring where those words can lead. Boebert has been criticized for her past comments about the LGBTQ community. She's attacked inclusive classroom practices, mocked the nation's first transgender Senate appointed official. Back in Colorado Springs, the suspect in that shooting, Anderson Aldrich, now being held without bond, following their first court appearance. Formal charges are expected next month. Well, yeah, Jim, not just a neighbor, a pretty close friend. They bonded over video games, spent hours playing games together. And um, also, and you know, Xavier Kraus is a 23 year old young man with a job. And he said what really struck him was the kind of differences between his life and the suspect's life. Kraus lived in an apartment with his girlfriend. He has a job across the hallway. Uh, the suspect, 22 years old, similar age, lived there with his mom and her, their mom and didn't appear to have any direction in life.